in this video, I'm going to go over the cut by color feature uh, using a mat. Um, if I come here to create, let's go over this cut window a little bit first. When you're in the general settings here, um, providing you have all of this set properly, um, you have uh, what you see is what you get mode, or you have origin point for cut mode. I don't use center point. I use usually origin point. Okay. And I'll explain the difference really between those, but you can see that, you know, my text here is going to cut here and in WYSIWYG mode. And if I'm in origin point, it's going to cut down here. All right. Uh, then you have use the software speed and pressure. If you have this checked, then you need to set these settings down here. Okay. If you have it unchecked, the solo machine itself has 10 presets that you can set your pressure and your speed. In the machine, it's actually called force and speed, but it's the same, you know, pressure is the same as force, okay? And if you have your settings in your machine and you're going to use those, you would first go to your machine and select your preset, do a test cut to make sure that you know, it's cutting your material properly and weeding properly. And then you could go ahead and cut. You can also go to your solo machine and uh, go to force and speed and set your force and speed without making a preset uh, to save in the machine. And you can cut with whatever you set that force and speed at. If you have this checked, then you need to use these settings down here. All right, now you're going to cut. You can make a custom preset by setting your settings here and then adding, you know, click on the add button, give it a name and click OK. And then it will show up down here. All right. And then your blade holder, there's only one blade, so I just leave that there. Cut the cut lines, your blade offset and overcut rarely gets changed. If you cut like a large circle and it doesn't quite close, then you may want to change your, well, you'll have to change your overcut by just a little bit to get that to uh, cut completely. All right. Then you have a multi-cut up to 20 times and then your pressure and your speed and your up speed. I've never changed my up speed, just my pressure and my speed. Okay. And then the uh, cut by color I will get to in just a moment. All right. The first thing I want to talk about is the origin point. And the origin point is where your blade is on your machine. So if I, let me zoom back out here a little bit. If I am in vertical mode, and this is my solo mat, it's a 12 by 19 inch mat, then my blade needs to be placed down here at the bottom right, okay? If I am in horizontal mode, <clears throat> Then in the software only, it is the upper right-hand corner, okay? But when you place it into your machine, as you'll see, uh, you know, here's your mat, here's your machine, and you would be on this side of the machine. So it is still the bottom right-hand corner, whether you're in vertical or horizontal mode, okay? So let me change this back to vertical. And that's probably the most important part uh, is to make sure you position your blade in this corner of the mat. All right. 
And then um, let's say I have this pumpkin here. And here's my origin point, all right? And I have it placed over here, but I, I'm thinking, you know, that this is six and a half or seven. Let's go with seven. And I place my blade down here at the seven inch mark, okay? What's going to happen is your blade's going to try to go way over here to cut this, and it, it, it's not going to be able to because it's going, I believe, it's going from the seven inch mark over to the 12 inches and it can't get to 12 inches because you've started at seven and not at the 12 okay i hope that makes sense but if you place your blade here what's going to happen is your blade's going to go over here when it's trying to cut and the machine's going to turn red and it's going to start beeping and I had this happen to me because I was not placing my blade in the bottom right hand corner of the mat. I had placed it here. All right. So if that happens, that's why you don't have your origin point set properly. Okay. And then let's say I'm going to cut this pumpkin. I have my origin point set and let's put it in the middle of the mat here. Let's say I have a piece of vinyl that is, um, you know, it's 12 inches wide, but it's only like, I don't know, six inches wide here. And then the other six inches is just a strip because I've already used this part of it. So I need this pumpkin to cut right here. My origin point is here. So I will come up to create and make sure this is in WYSIWYG mode and this is where it's going to cut, all right? If I change this to origin point, then it's going to cut down here because my blade is positioned here. The origin of my blade is here, all right? So um, again, either you use the software if this is checked or you uncheck it and use a preset in your machine and then uh, you know these other settings let's see I already went over so then let's come to cut by color so we have fill color selected here and we want uh, cut each color separately all right First of all, you can left click and drag these layers however you want them to cut. You can turn a layer off if you don't want to cut it um, by clicking here. All right. So let's say I cut it and my little wiggly things here, squiggly things here, I messed up when I weeded them. So I can come back and turn these two off and just cut the screen part again. All right. And again, it's going to position whatever I'm cutting down um, in the bottom right hand corner. All right. It's not going to cut it up here. As you can see, it's going to cut it down here. All right. So that's the separate job. And then you have single job. If I cut this on a single job, it's going to cut all of these colors on one piece of vinyl. It's not going to stop in between so you can switch out colors. So keep that in mind. If you want to switch out colors, use a separate job. If not, use a single job. Okay. And um, let me get out of here. All right. Another thing is your page size. All right. If I select this image here and I come to my position and size, I can see that it's four by four. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my documents and I'm going to make a custom size map. All right. I'm going to actually make this 4.5 by 4.5. <clears throat> and when I do that, then I have a map 
that fits my design. My origin point is the bottom right hand corner. And when I come to create, then, you know, my machine can't cut over here or up here because it doesn't know that that space is available because I have it only set to four and a half by four and a half. All right. It's a good habit to get into just making the mat a little bit larger than your design. And that way, you know, it's going to cut. If you put a four and a half by four and a half piece of material onto your mat and you're lining up this bottom right hand corner, then it's going to cut where it's supposed to. Whether you're in origin point or WYSIWYG mode, you can see it does it can't go off of the mat. Okay, so it's a good practice to uh, go ahead and make your mat a little bit larger. And then I would use WYSIWYG because if I have it set to origin point, you know, there is a possibility that I don't get my material lined up exactly right on my mat. And then it ends up cutting off the bottom of my circle or the side of my circle or whatever. So WYSIWYG mode uh, for your mat size is what I would use. All right. And then again, you have, you know, use the software settings here or not. Use a preset in the machine. <clears throat> All right. So that's uh, changing your mat size. And then you have... Let me go back to horizontal or vertical. I need the solo mat. Okay. And then you have over here. Well, first of all, yeah, I wanted that there. Okay. Uh, cut by color. You have a stroke color. Okay. And what this does is it shows you the stroke color, or if you have no stroke, on your objects okay if you have a no stroke it's still going to cut uh it doesn't matter if it has a stroke or not this just shows you your objects that do or don't have a stroke and again you can turn them off you can reposition them however you want uh you're going to want to do separate jobs because if you do a single job and you have your material here, it's going to cut all these shapes out of that one piece of material. Okay. Uh, so that is the stroke. And then let's go back to horizontal. So now in horizontal orientation with my uh, origin set here, if I go to the create, then you're going to see why my orientation is set here. Here's my mat, here's my machine, and I'm over here. So it's the bottom right hand corner. Okay. This is in what you see, what you is what you get mode. And in order for me to show you origin point, I am going to have to remove this because otherwise that is my origin point, right? All right, so if I change this to origin point, then it moves it to where my blade is, okay? So it's gonna start right here, <clears throat> all right? And then again, you have separate jobs or single job, and you can turn the layers off or on, <clears throat> and okay, so, now, if you want to cut without a mat, let's uh, change this to vertical. Uh, and this green square rectangle here is my piece of vinyl. And I'm going to place it here, okay, to cut this image. So let me show you what happens when... I choose the origin point, okay, and I click create, 
and I don't want to cut that, of course. That's my piece of vinyl. I'm going to skip that. Okay, my blue eyes here, or the blue for the eyes, goes down here in this corner. So, you know, you don't need a 5 by 7 piece of vinyl just for those eyes. So keep that in mind. And again, the bow, that's going to cut down in the bottom right-hand corner. Of course, your blade is going to be positioned at the bottom right-hand corner. And then her mouth and uh, the white parts of her. And then the black outline. Now, the black outline, you will want a, I think it was 5 by 7 uh, piece of material. Okay? So, always, always, bottom right-hand corner. Okay. So when you first get your machine, you're going to have a black test pen and it has a little red rubber or plastic tip on the end of it. You need to take that off and then you can use your test pen to just play around and see where it's uh, going to draw or cut. So what I've done here is I made a custom size mat for the same size as a piece of copy paper, eight and a half by 11. And I drew two shapes and I made sure that they had no color and they had a pen color, okay? Or you could use stroke color, either way. But I had it set to pen color. Um, and then you can move these around wherever and remember your origin point where your blade is positioned is the bottom right hand corner and when you come to create um, and you're in WYSIWYG mode you can see I don't have my shapes here and that's because it's set to cut it needs to be set to draw and then you can see them all right so in WYSIWYG mode, this is where they're going to cut. If I go to origin point, then it's going to put those shapes, and I mean draw, not cut, sorry. It's going to put those shapes down at the origin point where my blade is positioned, and that's where they will draw, okay? So make sure, again, that this is in draw and not cut, and just play around with them. Move your shapes around and um, come back to create and put this in WYSIWYG and then they're going to draw here. So yeah, use the draw, use the um, test pen that comes with your machine and just play around with that before trying to cut. But uh, when you're ready, I hope that this video and everything that I've gone over helps you have an easy time at understanding where your machine is going to cut or draw. So thanks for watching.